Hey, so, like, so, the solution has let to me throw this out there. So, so Darwin, Darwin, I hear what you're saying. He's like, well, where's the solution? Like, we're like by the numbers, as we used to say in the military, right? So by the numbers. The part, the, the part that they just missed out on was the old ones. So what, what's going to have to happen is, and here's the solutions. We're going to have to let the old ones, my age, die out. You got to ignore these old heads, man. They hard. Trust. I went to school with them. Brothers, believe me, they are hard headed. I can't play with them. Can't win with them. Can't coach with them. Can't do it. Because you are not going to be able to psychologize and reprogram some of these some of these women who's operating with unupdatable hardware, man. It's not going to happen. So, so Sharon, real quick, what age bracket is that you're describing before you go the on? The solution is we need to focus on the youth 35 and younger. You got to salute. You got to you got to focus, laser focus on trying to protect the youth from the old wives club, the old golden girls, the, the misery love company harem of women that wants that's that's trying to recruit the young ones into their fold by shielding them. And the best way to do that, as an example, uh, is to incentivize the young women by showing them the benefits of getting in line with a man. We have to emphasize that, you, you, baby, listen, you, 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 your auntie was an independent boss. You see how that worked out for her? It's not mm. prosperous long term. So do not be a slut, you know, and if you were a slut, stop. Tell the brutal truth and be an unselfish helpmate to the man that you naturally love. Help your man with cooking, help him with cleaning. Sex on demand, and then men got shit to do too. Let's not. Let's not. I mean, I hear we talking about women, but men, we we, I, I'm with Sweeney. We, by and large, we 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 still doing what we've always been doing, right? But men got to be amazing men. You know, we got to be. You got to be physically strong, physically like your arms. You got to get. You can't be fat and sloppy and squishy. You know, you have to figure out a way to become a money maker. And gentlemen, you have to be a problem solver. One of the things that, are, that women are complaining about today is that a lot of guys don't know shit and can't do shit. And so the, she got to figure out everything. He can't fill out a goddamn job application. It's just almost like he don't know anything. Don't be that guy. And if you are not that guy, but you know something that's like that, help that brother out. You know what I'm saying? But once you become that guy, It'd be real easy to ignore them old ones and the younger ones, 35 and younger, will listen to you. And then you could show her why it's a benefit for her to be with you. And then she'll tell her friends. And the next thing you know, you got grassroots marketing and all these young girls will start to say, I ain't listening to my auntie. I, I want to be like her. I already know what she's like because I saw her at the cookout last, you know, at the family reunion last week. I saw her at Thanksgiving and I don't want to be like that, you know. <laughs> so I think that's one solution right there. Gotcha. I would, I would, so I would, Darwin, I don't think you had an opportunity to finish your answer because I, I I don't remember you saying the solution. No, yet. I would, actually think it was just a question. I just did I just didn't understand how it, it could be a solution by just ignoring them. I get ignoring a specific age group, but that means you if you just use a specific age group, uh, don't don't some of those women that are cooperative or maybe impressionable, let's just may get hit with a stray round. You get what I'm saying? Or is that the collateral about it? Or like we just said, fuck it, they're just in the <laughs> way. Damage. But I'm just, I'm just. No, 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 you got to treat all the women as individuals. So you'll be able to suss that out. We talking about behaviors and looks that you don't Okay, so if you say individually, then we can't really say, okay, women from 35 after 35. Yeah, that wasn't, I didn't, I didn't say that. I'm saying well, treat I, them I, as, I, yeah. yeah. And that's what? what I'm trying to figure out. Like, I think, me personally, if we was to actually come up with a valid solution that was applicable, we would have to look at the issues and figure out how they were originated and try to see if we can go back. Uh, okay, how did this become so fucked up? How do we reverse the, the problem? I get it. We can't make women do something, but I do believe we can reverse the issue if we understand what caused it. So, for example, what came first? The average man or the modern woman, the masculine the chicken woman. Chicken or the egg? Who, 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 what came first? Was that the modern woman? I would I would argue the average man came first. I would argue okay. that the average the modern woman was a product of men being average, 
and a, and a woman having a, okay, these men are no longer providers. I think there was an era where they were, okay, these men are no longer providers. I have to go and work now. Give me a time frame on that. Give me a time frame on that. What is what does that mean, bro? Uh, Bruce? What, like, what, 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 what? Give me the time frame where you think the average man was created. I would say the average man was created around. I would say okay. When did the uh, when did the I, I would say the sixties, sixties, seventies, maybe. So you are talking about the you Vietnam. All right. So, but all right. So here's the thing. That's well, I, I don't know what I don't know what year. No, no, no. I get what you're saying. The factories and all this other stuff. And hey, uh, it, World War II. It would it would, it would have to be. I, I can only assume it would have to be during the era of when Claudine came out. You know what I'm saying? Because if it if they put it in the movies in the movies during that time period, it had to be pretty relevant for you know what I'm saying for it to connect. So whatever time period that was. I, I think that that's when everything began to usher in, and, and the in in the tide began to shift. I do remember. I do remember the the type of family that was like the fences. The movie. Uh, I think it was Denzel Washington and uh, forgot what the black. Uh, you you talking about the the father that goes out works and you have a yeah. I, that... I don't know what year right, that so... they were trying to imp- replicate, but whatever uh, time. But that was, that was a that was an an original. Uh, uh, stage play that was written in maybe the eighties or something like that. But James, thing- James, Earl, James Earl Jones, he did the. I want to say he did the original one um, when it when it came out, and he was, you know, somewhat younger. So I I can only assume it was during like the eighties when. When that right, came. but Darwin, whatever era it was, Darwin is suggesting that the problem started with 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 shiftless men, and women had no choice but to become the strong, independent women that they are today. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that. That's one so, not true. So, <laughs> would y'all would y'all say that it was like World War II when women were kind of no, forced I just to work? Don't believe women. it at all. Well, well no, because we're looking at this like World War II was a, a an aspect of me. Men had to go to war, so therefore women had to. Stay yeah. at home. It was all a part of the war effort, but yeah. the yeah, house. But, but then it's. The, the, but then it kind of stuck because all right. So if you look at the um, the vid situation, right? People was to start. They started working remotely, and then companies was like, "Damn, look at our bottom line!" And then it became, it just was by accident became a reality, and a lot of people still, you know, work remotely, which is why you have a mass exodus in California, and everybody's running to Florida, and now it's the most expensive state. So. It's, but, it's one of them things where no, it kind of it could be it could be that this is just a theory I want you to think about because that, that I, I don't know for sure I wasn't there but just from a lot of the things that I've looked at um, in history it, it kind of looks like that could have been a contributing factor uh, right after the silent generation because uh, a lot of people will recognize that during the baby booming as when uh, boom baby boomers were the most selfish or at least started this selfishness right and that's where a lot of people believe the problem originated. 